From outer space to the search for alien life, some of the world's top space scientists, including an astronaut, have landed right here in Perth. And now West Aussies have been given the chance to pick their brains. Sam Haviland has more. Good afternoon. Well, it's any child's dream to want to grow up and become an astronaut. But for just a few lucky kids here in Perth today, they got an incredible opportunity to see what that dream really looks like. Meet Dr. Shawnya Padia. She's the first commercial female astronaut from Canada. And if that wasn't impressive enough, she's also an aquanaut and an aeromedical physician, thanks to her background in medicine and neuroscience. It still is sinking in that this is what I get to do, that this is what I have dreamed about since I was a kid. I grew up wanting to be an astronaut. I grew up wanting to be a doctor, and I get to do both. Having known she wanted to be an astronaut since she was just a kid, now she gets to show others those big dreams are truly possible. It is such a joy to always be talking to the, the kids and anyone who's passionate about space because I ask the best questions. Also visiting in town is Bill Diamond, president and CEO from the Search for Extraterrestrial Institute in California. He leads a team of hundreds who've dedicated their careers to answering one of humanity's burning questions. Do aliens really exist? If you don't believe that aliens are real, you can't even get a job at the SETI Institute. So it starts with that. Uh, but, and you know, the statistical likelihood that we're alone in the universe is probably zero. But whether we're alone, you know, or in the company of microbes or... or intelligent aliens we have yet to discover. Bill's here not only to share his knowledge and passion onto the youth, but to meet other experts and progress West Australia's contribution in space exploration. Here, but we're also looking to partner with the Forest Foundation here in Western Australia to bring postdoctoral researchers to NASA and the SETI Institute um, and give them that experience and, and you know, join forces and collaborate in this way, which is really exciting for us. Shauna and Bill are here speaking at multiple events at both SciTech and the WA Museum throughout the week. We're really excited about, about supporting this work and it's also part of diversifying the Western Australian economy. Currently the space industry is worth $1.1 billion to the Western Australian economy. We think that it could be worth much, much more than that. We'll bring you more from this story today in the News at Six. Mining gains have helped drive the share market